What is up everybody? Welcome back to Case Digital. My name is Zach and in today's video we're answering the question of how to copy a file in Python. So without further ado, let's hop right in and start coding. All right, so to copy a file, we first need a file. And well, like you see here, I have two variables. One is the file to be copied path, which is basically, this is notation is just saying dot slash, meaning in the current directory that I'm in, that this, uh, basically this how to copy py, uh, file in Python, um, py file is in. Um, and that's right here. All this file says is programming is awesome. And the idea is, is we're then going to copy this file and its contents and basically give it a name, but the contents should be there into the same directory and just give the name of hello.txt. So like if I open this up, this is where we're working. I'm going to copy this. And by the end of this, we should see hello2.txt. Now, what packages or modules or classes or what do we need um, that's already built in or that we could use to copy a file? Well, the first thing, and I, there's lots of things in different ways that you probably do this. This, but one of the methods that I probably like the best um, is using the import, let's do import and then shutil uh, package uh, because then it has some nice things that you can do. So what does this package come with? All right, so I also forgot to mention that shutils package is also a built-in Python package. So you don't need to like pip install or install anything. It just kind of comes with your Python stuff. So to use this, what we're basically gonna do, and this is what's nice about this, is it's pretty much one line to do all this, um, is you can do chutil dot. Now if I hit dot, you'll see a lot of different things that you could do, a lot of different functions that you can use. Now we're gonna focus on this copy function because um, this function is similar to that of basically like it says here it copies the data and mode bits and it's basically similar to calling cp on your terminal and then giving it the sort path and the destination path now this may sound familiar because i did a previous video where i showed you how on the command line how to copy a file while you're in your terminal um, and that's basically what we're going to do here we're going to leverage python to help us do this programmatically right um, so all you have to do is hit copy and then i need to give it the source path right so this is the path to a file that we want to copy which we've already um, designated as being this right here and then we also need a destination path or a place where we want to copy to or copy this file to which we've already established as this variable right here and so if i go here go ahead and and uh, run this right here you'll see that i should open this up you'll see hello 2.txt is now there and look it says programming is awesome which is exactly what our hello um or just a hello.txt says so let's go back here and i also can check that on the command line if you if you want to get more used to using the command line terminal I could essentially do ls and you'll see that hello2.txt is now there so that's how you can simply copy but what if you want to copy with the same name what happens will that work all right so what happens if we want to either run this program again or use the same name to copy well if we go ahead and run this program again what's going to happen is this everything's going to work because of the fact that we're taking one file and renaming it to another file and creating a new file we're basically copying it but then renaming it that's essentially what's happening here um, um, however, watch what happens. If I go ahead, go ahead and in this hello2.txt, I add an extra, say, um, exclamation point here, and I go and I run this again. It again, should take the contents of this and create a file or overwrite this file to, to match, right? And so if I run it, you'll see that it took off that extra exclamation point. So that's one thing that you need to watch out for is make sure that there's not, or check, you know, or add a check, like an if statement or check to make sure that there's not another file of where you're trying to copy to because if there's is you may overwrite the contents of it. Um, so that's how, if you were to run this again, that's what happened. Well, what happens though, if we want to say, hey, I want the same name, you know, I try and run this again. What you're going to get is you're going to get an exception and you're just going to throw an error called same file error. And the reason is, is this is exactly what happens when you try and do CP, um, like the CP command in the terminal with the same name. It's going to error out because of the fact that it's basically saying that these are the exact same. There's no reason to copy it or overwrite itself. So um, I'm not going to perform that command. So that's basically what's happening. So now let's talk about what happens if I want to not just do it, if I want to copy it to a different folder or location, what would I have to do there? So to copy copy to a different directory is actually quite easy. You can use the exact same thing. All you have to do is change the path, right? So say we want to take this original hello.txt file that says programming is awesome. And we want to not put it in the same folder when we copy it with, you know, cause like we said, like we just did, we have to have a different name. However, we can have the same name as long as it's not going to overwrite something in another folder. 
So what we can do is let's double check. I think I probably have, if I do an ls dot dot and check out what's in the, the previous uh, or the, the directory above. In my previous video where I talked about using CP with um, with the, the command line, I had I was copying and pasting or I was copying files into this folder. And you, you can see like I have hello2.txt and hello3.txt. So let's create another file or let's copy this current file from using Python from the OS dot underscore system folder to the generic YouTube tutorials Python basics folder. So to do that, all we have to do is I can either do, I can add this, the dot dot slash means go up a directory for, from where I cur currently am and copy it there. Or I could provide the full absolute path, um, which I could say, I can CD up to that and I can say PWD. And basically this will give me the full path, right? So I could either do something like this or I could do something like this. Uh, copy this is equal to that. Uh, hello.txt, right? So I could do this exact thing um, and try either one of those. So for line simplicity's sake, uh, let's go with the first method and let's just copy it here. So what I should be able to do is if I go down, back down to OS system and then I go back and I run um, our command again, before, look, you don't see any hello.txt, but now if I run this and I hit ls dot dot slash, you'll see that there is a hello.txt. So now we have just copied this from this os.systems or this os uh, system dir um, directory to the directory above it. So what happens though now if we don't want to provide a file path, we just want to try and run it just like here. Here's my file that I want to copy and how do we then just, here's the directory I want you to put in. What what would happen or what do we need to do? All right, so before we copy it, just using here's the directory to use, I also want to point out like, you can also provide the exact path here. So like, um, I can just say this whole thing, you know, slash, slash OS under system slash hello directory, and then put that as my source path. So you can provide the relative path, which is, the, which is what, sorry, you can provide the relative path, which is what this is, or you can put the full path, like I said that you could do for this hell, uh, for the copy destination spot as well. So, but now what happens though, if we just want to pat, copy to a directory, what, what would happen? Do we need to use a new function or can we use our copy function? Um, essentially that just means like, well, what happens if I just wanted to do this? Copy to there. Well, let's go and do this. Let's say rm, or no, let's go to the other directory. And I'm going to say rm hello.txt. Now, again, like I mentioned in previous videos, the rm has a lot of power depending on what things you give it. Um, so I'm just going to delete this um, like this, and this should safely delete this folder because I went out or I went up to that folder where it is, and now I'm deleting it. So now if I do ls, you'll see that there's no hello.txt. So now we can go back to our OS underscore system folder and we can run our basically run our python script again and let's see what happens will this copy or will it do something different or will it err on us so it looks like nothing bad happened but if i and if i go ls dot dot slash you'll see that hello.txt is there and what I can essentially do is, this is a little programming trick. Um, if you run the cat command while you're in a terminal, what it'll do is it'll show the, the contents of our folder. And we can just check, I can do cat and I provided the path and you can see it says programming is awesome with, let's double check that because it looks like, Oh yeah, that's just, I think the end. So just like that, um, it copied it over into that folder or yeah, into that folder. So that's also the nice thing is essentially by running this command. And if I try and run it again, it should have the same type of result. Yep, no errors. But essentially what's happening here is I can either provide the, the, the actual path and the file that I want it to be called, or I can just copy and give it the directory, which I want to, to be, to go into as long and then as long as my source path is actually the path to a file but this destination one could be the path to a directory or actual file name that you want it to be within a directory right so that's essentially how you can leverage python to essentially copy files um and i hope this has provided value if it has please hit the like button and subscribe this is where we learn about python and other programming tips and techniques and if you, if you have any questions or, or comments or concerns or, or anything better that you've used in the past, I mean, this is a place where I want everybody to be able to learn. Please leave them in the comments below and we can talk about it. But until next time, keep on programming.